It really was from having a strong father figure. Um, my father came from Colombia, and what he taught me was that there is power in being the other in the room. There's power in being the one who doesn't think like everyone else. Um, there's power in being the person who, who looks different and can recognize the differences in others. I just embraced that feeling of being the other and really used the, the thought that being different is okay. It's actually wonderful. I don't think it's about discrimination. I think it's about providing women with the right mentors and, and with the ability to build relationships that don't have to happen on the proverbial golf course. One of the best pieces of advice I ever got was keep your girlfriends. And that, to me, is so true because if you, you know, a lot happens in your life and you get separated from them, but they are the people that will show up um, when, th when times get tough. And my female friends are incredibly important to me. It's not men against women, it's just that we tend to be the ones that show up when, when needed. Nobody's gonna have a perfect career path, nobody's gonna have a, a perfect day. Um, and the way you learn is, is you make mistakes and you hopefully you'll make them once. It's never too early to plant the seed on a career path. But if they don't see it, if they don't see that possibility, it's never gonna be in their mindset. With leadership, you're always, um, I think, remaining open to opportunities, to possibilities. You have in your mind a vision of where you want to go as an institution or where you want to help uh, take a group of people or help your staff uh, move in a certain direction. But it's never a totally narrow focus because I think if you're not also interacting in the with the broader world in, and and learning and um, exploring and hearing, the path to where you're going may not be the path that you thought originally. And what may can happen if you're, if you're more open to other possibilities is something even greater than you first envisioned. I remember the exact day I became a liberal. I must have been six or seven years old. And guess what? black people started moving into the neighborhood. And at that point I was running around with a little pack of kids, most of whom were just like me. And uh, this little black boy moved in. He looked at us and he said, can I play with you? And the other kids were merciless to him. They said, no, no, maybe because his skin color was black. And they looked at me and they said, come on, Anita. You don't want to play with him. I looked at them and I looked at him. And this kid was crushed, just crushed. Somehow I summoned up the strength to look at my posse and say, you know what? No, I'm going to play with him. And that was the precise moment that I learned that I am not a kid from Kinsman, that I am not a young person, a woman, an American, but I am a citizen of the world. So that taught me a very early lesson. It also taught me I'm a leader and not a follower. Going to school in the Deep South was a learning experience. While I was there, we had a cross burned on our yard, on our campus. And that was an educational experience and a learning experience. And it made me stronger, and it helped make me the person I am today. Racism exists wherever, it exists, I can't say wherever we go, but it does exist. And it takes an organization like the Y to be at the forefront of trying to eliminate it. it. Takes an organization like the Y to help empower women. I'm confident, I'm strong, I'm a leader, I'm not afraid to take risk. They may be calculated risk, 
but I'm not afraid to take risk and I'm not afraid to push or to be pushed. What is leadership but seizing opportunities? And I think one of the most important things I've learned in my career is you don't wait to be asked. We never waited to get a seat at the table. We, we found one. We created one for ourselves by the good work that we did. I learned early on, work hard, figure it out. If you're willing to walk through a wall for someone, they're willing to walk through a wall for you. And there's a power that comes with building that kind of team. The importance is understanding you know, what it's like to show up every day, do your best, work really, really hard, don't be daunted. You know, let someone tell you no 15 times and 16 times they say yes. What advice do I give my goddaughter? To be authentic, to be who she is. People are attracted to people who are enthusiastic about what they do. Don't leave your passion behind. So when we first started, Karen and I went through this experience of trying to figure out what our values were and what we wanted to be. I think in the end what we settled on that we both agreed with is I wanted so if you were walking down the street in Columbus you would say you know there's that there's that woman-owned law firm up there in Cleveland that are really good litigators that does a lot for the community. Who, who, who were they? I, that's who we want. We, that's who we want to go for. So I guess that's what I want my legacy to be.